Hundreds of people blocked the entire intersection of Wilshire and Westwood Thursday to protest low wages for University of California employees. Members of the Union for State Employees, as well as UC students, gathered at LeConte and Westwood to take action and raise awareness of workers' rights issues. We're protesting unfair wages, you know, you see can't recruit and they can't retain, you know. I've been here for 22 years and we're way below the market value. And our biggest problem is that most of the workers here make 25 to 26 percent less than any other entity, any other college, any other hospital in the city. A representative from the University of California Office of the President stated that a contract is being negotiated with the union for both patient care and service employees. In addition, salaries for these employees are actually funded by the state. One of the misconceptions is that we're state-funded employees, and for our 20,000 workers at the University of California, only 8% of our workers' salary come from the state. The other 91 point some odd percent is generated through, 70% is through the hospitals and other self-generating funds and federal, federal money. There's a lot of other ways that you see get some money, but we're basically almost not state-dependent. Protesters marched down to Wilshire and Westwood, where they blocked the busy intersection. LAPD notified the crowd that their permit to assemble in the streets would soon expire. That means I want you to break up this assembly. If you do not do so, you will be arrested. In a demonstration of civil disobedience, a delegation of around 40 protesters remained at the center of the intersection, where they would knowingly be arrested. Each protester complied with the police as they were read their rights and taken into custody. The UCLA students, it affects you because it's the same thing. We can't retain workers. And so you guys are experiencing longer lines and, and you know, stuff is not clean in a timely manner and things like that. It's because there's not enough workers here to do the work. And instead of UC investing in their workforce, they're investing in themselves and their CEOs and, and chancellors and things of that nature. UCLA students are always involved. We really appreciate UC students. The eight years that I've been here, you guys have always been a force to really help us. We couldn't have won, won anything without you. So I think the best thing that UC students can do is just to stay informed, to talk to the workers, you know, when they're behind the counter, or talk to the custodians when you see them, or the groundskeepers, and let them know that you're backing them up, and just, just continue being the support that you've been to us, and we will to you guys. More information can be found at www.takebackuc.org. Reporting for Daily Bruin Television, this is Maura Degnan.